Right, folks, we'll do a quick scores on the doors. Now, we're doing a double day. Two in one here. You're getting two for one. Two for one. Two for one. Sound like Sandovich there, don't I? He repeats everything three times, you know. I don't normally do that, but I did then. Anyway, just to go one above him. Two for one. Right, yesterday, what did it bring? Well, Mr. Fillingham, one out of two and in profit. Today, what did that bring? Well... I've recorded it late because I was waiting for the last one of Mickey's to run. Mickey's done one out of two today and in profit. One of his horses, unfortunately, didn't run, so obviously we can't do anything with that. Mind you, I say in profit. If you bet them as singles, you'd be in profit. Uh, there was also doubles there, and there was also a mention of a forecast. If you did everything, you would lose. But if you did the singles today with Mickey's, you're in front. Mr. Fillingham, however, well, if you did ease, you're well in front. You're very, very happy. Two out of two. Not bad at all. I'll tell you what, he's on something of a winning run. Is that six days out of seven now? Seven out of seven in profit every single day? A couple of days unimaginably. But it's profit all the same. I wasn't uh, too sure when he said he was going to go down the favourites route. You need a lot of favourites on the bounce to keep him profit. But he's proven it can be done. He's one of the, the best favourite backers I've seen in recent times. Doing very, very well. So again, folks, I will say to you, if you're visiting this channel, you're interested in horse racing, and you're looking at who to place a bet with, whose advice to go with, I would suggest Mickey D or Peter Fillingham won't, won't say you're wrong at this moment in time. They're both doing pretty well, I've got to say that. So anyway, well done, Mickey. Extremely well done, Peter. Very, very well done. And by the way, we've got a special feature on Mr Fillingham later. Be out about the next half hour or so.